What's up YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here, and today we're talking about Keanu Reeves and his haircuts. So we all know and love Keanu Reeves from a lot of his you know, classic movies he's been in, and most recently, John Wick Chapter 3, and also there's a new video game called Cyberpunk 2077, which uh, you know, he's a part of, and you know, there's a lot of focus on his look, right? And he's got kind of that grunge, kind of, you know, longer hair, a bit disheveled and textured. And I want to talk to you guys about that today and how to go about achieving that look. All right, so taking a look at this mannequin right here, the first thing that you're noticing, obviously, is that the hair is a bit longer. It's got some length to it. And really, that's the key to these types of haircuts, and especially for uh, Keanu's haircuts, is that, you know, if you want to have a hair like this, you have to grow it, okay? It's gotta be a certain length, you know, just past kind of the neck area right into here. Um, you know, it's gotta have a lot of texture to it. The key to having the texture is creating some sort of texture and some sort of layering as well, all right? So the layering comes from, you know, nothing too over the top, but if you, if you take, you know, a razor and kind of razor into it to create more of a jagged type edge, then that is what is going to help with the look. And also you need, you know, the length in through the front here as well, all right? Um, that's really what it comes down to, is, is having that angle, because it's got, you know, the focal points of the haircut are the angle coming kind of towards the face this way, all right? You need to have the hair long enough in through here that it all can kind of work to the face. So I would say the hair in the front needs to be somewhere around the top lip area, you know, or like between the, the bridge of the nose to the, to the lip, depending on, the, on your um, forehead and things like that. This mannequin has a very, very low forehead, all right? So it means it would go up, so the hair would be a bit higher in through here if your ha uh, hairline was a bit higher. But really what it comes down to is just having longer hair, having some texture, and then using the right product as well. So to achieve kind of that grungier type of look, I'm gonna suggest shadow, which is kind of like my a grit pomade, uh, more of like a, a pomade cream. All right, it gives you kind of that second day look, that lived in type of look. So let's apply it to this mannequin and see how it transforms the hair. So I'm working through my hands and I'm gonna apply this to fully dry hair because I want to create that lived in type of look and the best way to do that is on hair that's dry. Uh, this way it shows a bit more of that transformation. So what I'm doing is, as you can see when I'm applying the product, right? What I'm doing is I'm taking it from the scalp here keeping my hands on the section and I'm kind of pulling the hair down like this. And what that's doing, it's actually straightening the hair a bit more and making it lay a bit flatter to the head, which is how Keanu's hair is. And then you just kind of work it all down, but in no way am I actually taking the product and roughing it through, his, through the mannequin's hair. Instead, I'm literally just taking it like this and lightly pulling down, which I'm working the product on the surface layer of the hair, which is giving it that more of a lived in second day type texture. Yeah, and that's pretty much it guys. It really comes down to the haircut and it comes down to the product, you know? And honestly, you can get this look if you don't wash your hair for about four or five days, all right? Uh, and and that, that's pretty much it. So um, I hope you guys found this helpful. All right, YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a Salon Guy.